Hey guys, so today's class, I won't be here. Got something uh, that's come up, something I gotta do. So, uh, what you guys are gonna be doing today is the following. All right, for surface design. For surface design, you guys are gonna be working on your calligraphy pieces as well as uh, these worksheets. So, getting uh, over by the uh, over by the blue bucket where I got the scissors and whatnot, I've got these calligraphy worksheets for you guys to work on so you can practice working on your handwriting with the calligraphy pens. Uh, after you get that done or in between, uh, we also have the magazine so that you guys can go ahead and pick out your magazine pieces for your tunnel book. Now, we'll practice calligraphy, take care of the pictures so that when uh, so that next class we can go ahead and get started on how to cut out our pieces for our tunnel book. All right, so take care of the so take care of those two things. I'll see you guys later. Okay, for my service class, you guys are working on your project list as always. So for you guys, you guys are working on your glaze plate as well as your coil pieces. Now for the glaze plate, you guys are going to have your sketchbook and in your sketchbook, you're going to put down all your stuff that you need to know for your glaze. Now over here, I've made a little chart. So you can see how I got a little chart here and I've numbered, began the numbers with numbers one through 10. Now I want to see at least 40 different glaze colors on there, if not uh, 30, between 30 and 40 glaze colors on there because you need to get a variety so that I can see that you have taken all the different glazes that you wanted to use and you have all the details on. Now, details on your glaze. Now, you have your the glaze piece itself. I need the cone number, what you're firing at. I need all the details of what the color is. So this one is white, num uh, number F11, and all the details about it. So what cone is it firing at? Over here, you got your cone numbers. I need all those little details in there listed on your chart so that as you guys are firing, you know what you're making, and you also know what it's gonna fire at, because some of you are gonna work in reds. Reds, I need to know as much specifics about as possible so that you can get the red color to come out correctly. So make sure you're taking good notes on your, on your, in your sketchbook. Now on the, uh, other side of that paper, just if you're saving paper, uh, do your glaze notes. Now, the glaze notes we've already done in class, and if you need to rewatch that video, will be up on YouTube, um, hopefully already. So, glaze notes will be online. So, if you need to redo those, you can do those. Remember, I'm checking over those on Friday, as well as your glaze chart. Now, lots of details on the glaze chart because I want to make sure that you know your stuff so that as you guys go forward, that the glazes come out the way that you want. All right, for your coil bowl. It's got to be 10 inches wide. This is 11 inches wide. This is the large bowl that I have on, on my station. And so your bowl needs to be this wide. And I recommend it is at least this tall, which is about six inches high. You want it this high because it'll hold that space as the clay is stretching out. You need, uh, you need at least some height to it so the bowl will hold up there. Higher than that is better. It'll, it'll be stronger. It'll last, it'll last better as you guys are building. It'll make life a lot easier. Now for the coil vase, it's got to be 10 inches high, which is the height of this piece that I've got here in front of me. Uh, you want a nice tall vase structure. Uh, the base of the vase, however you guys want to do it, but the height has to be up here. Now variety in the coils that you use is always going to give you a better grade. Make sure that you've got interesting design work on there as well. Whatever you guys are building, make sure that you're putting those notes down in your sketchbook, drawing out what you guys are building so that you have a game plan I can help you as need be. Other than that, I'll see you guys next class. Later.